Hello and welcome to another episode of GMG News. So today I have a special episode because these figures on well, one is mine and this one is my fiance's. Also, uh, my friend Ed is filming this. We've also got a little Deadpool in the background here who's uh, gonna. You'll see his use later on in the video. He's just chilling there waiting for his um, little cameo. You, you're not taking any more cameos today, all right? You can wait for a minute. So, anyway. The two figures that we got here today, I'm so happy to have a Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which you should know is coming to cinemas very soon. Obviously, this is a Marvel pop figure. Um, I really like Star Lord, I loved the film, um, and I just like this figure. I wanted one from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, but the source that I get them from at the time, their shop was completely sold out. Um, and fortunately, I was able to go in today and I was able to get one. Uh, this is a 198 out of like its edition, so it's the first out of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 edition. Um, also a fun fact, I was told that if you buy so many of Funko, say if you're a shop or a business, you can also receive rare ones in the shop that I caught this from. There was one that was listed for £50, um, and they're not very often that they give them away, like you can't just buy one every now and again and think that you'll get one because it doesn't work like that you have to basically order them in bulk really cool looking box so on the bottom here we have all their social medias which is www.facebook.co.uk forward slash original funko on twitter is at original funko and the same on instagram also if you go to www.funko.com you'll be able to find more of their items that you'll be able to purchase this is listed for above the age of three years. The reason why is obviously because parts of this could be swallowed and could be a choking hazard. Also, one thing that you may notice with this, it says that it's a vinyl bobblehead figure. I don't know if you can just see that little spring there. You probably won't be able to, but when I unbox this in a minute, um, when you set it down, essentially there's a spring on the head, so it will bobble back and forth. Um, complete with guns. I thought it came with a stand, but it, I don't think it does. But I'm really happy to be able to actually have one of these and be able to unbox one of these. And the second figure that we have here is the Sesame Street Elmo. This is not mine, this is my fiance's. And this one is actually really special because it's an underground toy exclusive. And also, if you can see, um, Elmo is actually like covered in some sort of red velvet, um, which is really cool. Uh, I used to watch this as a kid. So all the, these are all the different ones that you can get for the Sesame Street um, edition of Funko Pop figures. You can get number one is Super Groover, the Cookie Monster is number two, Oscar the Grouch, Bertie or Bert, Ernie, uh, Mr. Snuffleupagus, the Count Elmo, obviously, which is this figure here. But I don't, th I think that's just the normal one because there was like three different ones in there. Grover and also you can get a six inch Big Bird. So there's quite a few that you can get from um, in this range as well. This is obviously listed as number eight. Um, really nice looking box, nice feel to it. Also another thing as well that I've just noticed is on the back of this box and on the back of this box, this box, if you, I don't know if you can hear that, it's, it's like it's made from a better sort of cardboard and this is more of a shiny sort of vinyl feel so it feels a lot smoother whereas this feels a lot more rougher. So I don't know if that was done intentionally or it, maybe it was just some sort of like default that it happened. Um, another thing that I've now noticed on this box, I think that may be something to do with the movies. Maybe that's like the badge that they get when they become like the Guardians of the Galaxy. Obviously, from what I've seen from the trailer, there's like two new additions to the Guardians of the Galaxy, which are Mantis, just here, um, from the first film. And Nebula, obviously, who's from the first film, who is Gamora's sister, but she was on the, um, well, bad guy side and Sans Thanos' side. Um, also, there's Taserface, Ego, Drax, who's obviously a returning character, Baby Groot, because he got you know, um, well, blown up, essentially, in the last film. Rocket, I was stuck between getting Rocket or Star-Lord, because Rocket looks pretty amazing with, so if you can see that in the background, there's, um, he's got Jetpack sort of air behind it like thruster air which looks pretty cool right so anyway i'm gonna stop rambling and um i'm gonna start unboxing so we're gonna do this one first um so this one is listed as 12.99 because this is just a normal sort of figure 
even though it's a bobblehead, so I thought it would be a bit more. But to be honest with you, until I've actually started to film this video, I haven't actually realized until looking at this box. Um, and this one, obviously, with having the red velvet on it and also being an underground toy exclusive, this is sixteen ninety nine, um, which is expected because it's. I would say the Elmo is a better quality just because of the materials that it's made from. Um, so yeah, right. Let's just unbox these very quickly and show you what you get with them. So I'm going to do Starload first of all. So I'm going to take this one out. I'm just going to put this box to the back there. head and as you can see there right now this is the purpose of Deadpool so the purpose of Deadpool was to show you the difference in size between a Keering pop figure and a normal standard pop figure and as you can see in the size this is about three times bigger like um, but yeah it's a fully moving bobblehead as you can see from the head rotating um, I don't I don't think anything else moves. No, nothing else moves. Um, you know, real good detail for the jacket. I don't know if you've seen the film. That looks near enough like the jacket. On the front, he's got a t-shirt that says... I can't read that. It, it, I think it's like Japanese or maybe some sort of language from the movie or something. Obviously, he's got like two different pendants here hanging guns as well which are obviously the same ones that he uses in the film i really wanted the star lord with the mask but um unfortunately it wasn't there at the time so we're just going to put that one to one side and last but not least well we saved the best till last we have the sesame street elmo just box this very quickly so i should take this off Nicely. Oh wow, that feels lovely. Real good detail on it. You can see because they've how how they've layered the velvet, it creates the effect looking like it's got hair. It feels like hair. It's that. Do you know what? I've never seen a pop figure like that because you wouldn't actually think that was a pop figure. So if I just Put this okay well strangely that's a bit smaller but i think that's probably just because if you've ever seen sesame street obviously him being a puppet and being like a young child in a sense he would be smaller but i'm really impressed with that that's a really nice looking pop figure so this has been another episode of gmg news with friends as i said i haven't paid for these pop figures my fiance's bought them for me so i'm very happy for that um also, Ed has been filming this for me, and uh, well, Deadpool got his cameo. So, thank you for another episode of GMG News, and have a good day.